Okay, this will be a, a brief, just kind of review video. And what I would recommend that you have out would be just your, your notes. The, the notes that you would want specifically out would be the Kim sheet from the War of 1812 that we talked about in class on Monday and Tuesday, your Chapter 7, Section 2, Chapter 7, Section 3 notes, and the data that we worked with in class the last couple of days. Um, I'm just going to take you through how this quiz is going to be um, approached. We're going to move into the era of Andrew Jackson. And so my goal is to, for this video, is to you know, review what we've done to prepare for this Jacksonian era. And this, this includes the War of 1812, the, the Kim Sheet, what united them, that's Chapter 7, Section 2, video notes and reading notes, uh, the Territories and States video from last night, um, and we use Missouri as an example, and then just kind of an understanding of the congressional data that we looked at in class the last couple of days. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this. I'm just on this video. I'm just really going to refresh your memory on some of the things that you should be looking at in your notes and studying for. Um, this will be this will not be an open note quiz. It'll just be a a quiz to make sure that that you are prepared to make this next step into American history, which is the Jacksonian era. And a lot of what we've been talking about this week is getting us ready for the issues that are going to come up during the Jacksonian era. Um, when it comes to the War of 1812, you know, the, th the things that we really emphasized were this, this concept of impressment, how it's, you know, it was a part of American history, but at the same time it was a, an unresolved component of American history. And you, uh, you, were, you should have in your Kim notes the, you know, some of those ideas that, you know, that we, that the growing pains that we went through leading to Macon's Bill Number 2, how that bill led us to the realization that you know no matter what we did this was never going to stop and it leads directly to the rise of this, this group of war hawks and then from there you know they put the pressure on Madison to declare war and you have some of the background of those stories in your notes in terms of the debacle of the declaration of war and then of course the the, the interesting end of the war did we win did we really win that question um, out of that and what prepares us for this next step Andrew Jackson is the hero of that battle of New Orleans, and the fact that he's the, the hero of that battle, you know, it puts him in a unique spot to be immensely popular with the American people, and he's a rising political star, and that's where we transition to uh, starting next with your reading assignment after the quiz tomorrow and into next week. Uh, the next thing that you should be reviewing is that, that idea of what united them, and those four ideas, you know, I, I looked at the uh, responses to the video um, form from the What United Them you did two nights ago. And, you know, I, I can tell if you're watching the video or if you're just reading and going and filling out the form. You know, for example, a few of you put something about crops, you know, uniting them. Yeah, I know the book says that, but that's not what I emphasized in the video. And, and what I'm emphasizing in the video is really what you need to be concerned with for my quizzes and my tests. So if you look at this, these are the four things, you know, that common history and experiences, I would encourage you to go to your notes from the video on, on what that meant. This idea of social mobility, religion, but the one that we really focused in, in on is this idea of one government, one constitution. And that leads us directly to these last two points, the territories and states, with Missouri as an example, and also an understanding of congressional data. And I could just, you know, we could just look at this map alone and, and explain a lot of that. You know, if you're looking at you know, the, the, this territory out here, you should tomorrow be prepared to explain or at least list or rank in chronological order the steps that a territory would go through in order to become a state. You know, I might give you those four steps and you put them in the appropriate order. Um, I may ask you a little bit about how that power works between a territory, states, and the central government. Um, what exactly does the federal government, what role does the federal government play when it's the territory? What does it then play when it becomes a state? And how slavery works in as a, as a, a component of that. And Missouri is a good example of that because, you know, Missouri is quickly ready to become a state, so much so that the, ter ter the territory was not yet organized. Congress, you know, this is all in your notes, or it should be in your notes. Go back and watch the videos if you need to. But Congress was not yet ready for Missouri so they hadn't told them people whether or not you could bring slaves and so the thing that I think Missouri meshes perfectly with what we've been looking at the data is when Missouri wanted to come into the Union there were 11 free states 
and 11 slave states. Maine was not a state. So in this map, you know, Maine, Maine shouldn't be on there yet because they come in with Missouri. The balance was essential. And that's what I really need you to understand for that second, for that second component here, understanding the data. And that is, you know, the importance of there being two houses in the Congress, the House of Representatives and the Senate. You need to know that, right? The House of Representatives and the Senate. And how the, you know, the representation in the House may have been skewed to the North because they had this growing population, but how the balance in the Senate allowed the South to keep, you know, their hands on power and control and not be manipulated or, you know, dictated to by the North. That's really important, and it's going to continue to be important when we move into the Jacksonian era and beyond, because this balance is something that will be on the front of leaders' minds as we go through our history. So things that you should be reviewing for, for this quiz tomorrow would be look at that Kim sheet, the War of 1812 Kim sheet. You know, look at the causes, look at those stories as to how this war started and how it ended and how that, that is, you know, controversial historically look at the um, the significance of Andrew Jackson and how he's going to emerge from this as a very important and influential person also think about these guys and the Warhawks and what they tell us about what's happening to the American population um, when we look at this the second thing what united them you know you should know these four ideas and you should be able to explain a little bit about how each of them provided unification for the United States. Territories and states, be prepared to discuss and talk about that process and the power between central government and territories versus central government and states. And then lastly, an understanding of that data that we looked at. And the big thing there is you still have the questions. So look at those questions. What is it that I wanted you to think about when you were looking at the data? How did the changes in numbers, what, did that, what does that tell us? What's the significance? Does it matter if you're really powerful in the House if you're not as powerful in the Senate and vice versa. And think about that, how a bill becomes a law thing we watched, the Schoolhouse Rock, because both houses are necessary to pass a bill in order for it to become a law. But these are all things that you should be reviewing for tomorrow's quiz. It will not be open notes, so you need to review these coming in, and this will give me a good indication as to how ready we are to move into the Jacksonian era.